need my thing to load it now. Why my, my, my stuff is started. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another live. I'm having some little technical difficulties. So bear with me one second. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep, we got some stuff to talk about. Should I have should I have me a drink? I was debating if I should have a drink or not. Hope this thing don't cut off on me because this is like a <sighs> irritating. Hey, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome, Jamie. Well, welcome, Kenya. Welcome. How you doing? I don't know how to work your thing over here either. Hey, Dana, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, making changes. Welcome, everybody. Just trying to pull up my life. And I got to go to my mail first. Oh, this is gonna piss me off. Um. I just finished watching your video. Oh, thank you, Missy. Hey, Carlotta. Hey, Leah. Thank you. Y'all, I hate my little, this little bra strap is showing underneath. I hate that. I think that looks so tacky. And for the life of me, I can't, every time I try to change it, Say hey, hello, cry. Hey, oh, Clara, Kristen, Christy. Hey, just finally got off work. Why you live? Welcome. Now, I just want to say a disclaimer before we get started because, hold on, I can X out of this, right? Um, I gotta go to my live. Can I minimize this? Oh yeah, okay. Go to my live. I hate uh, having technical difficulties. How do you do it? Period. Wait. It didn't happen. Period. It happened. Okay, y'all. I was trying to get my little thumbnail on there. <laughs> I had to get my thumbnail on the live. Hey. Welcome everybody. Sorry about that. I was having a little technical difficulties. Welcome everybody. Before we get started with this live, because this live we're going to be talking about nomadic introvert. But before we get started, I just want to put a disclaimer out there because people might come in and take things the wrong way. First of all, nomadic is our friend. We love us some nomadic, okay? We always talk about how, how much we love her, how much, how well she does van life. And we talk about all the crazy things that's on her adventure and journey, right? So I just want to let y'all know, this is a safe place that we can come together and talk about her and the adventures and everything that she's going on. We're not doing anything to be mean. We're not doing anything of that sort, okay? We don't do that over here. But I just wanted to say, that she had did some updates, y'all. And I want to talk about who watched her last video. 
Who watched her last video she just uploaded? Put a one in the chat if y'all watch her video so y'all can see the up chain, the uh, so we can talk about the updates she made. I just watched her video, sis, cut her hair. Exactly. That was one of the updates she made. I was shocked. She went back to her, she went back to her normal, her beginnings. But you know what? I really wanted something different for her. I really thought maybe she was going to get braids, like, you know, some braids to the back or something. But hey, if she don't want no hair, she don't want no hair. You know, to each his own. I don't know. I just thought maybe she was going to get some braids, letting her hair grow out. But hey, it is what it is. I'm almost done, one second. Okay. Okay, everything has been saved. All right, all right, all right. This girl went to the barbershop. She found her a barbershop, got her hair cut. What y'all think? I mean, we used to it, hey. We used to it, right? She been getting her hair cut from the beginning, right? I just watched her video, sis. Yep, me too. Yeah, I was shocked. Me too. I was shocked when she got her hair cut. And it's another thing she changed on her video. Hey, Luan, welcome. It's another thing that she changed on her Subaru. And I believe she did this for safety reasons. Because that's the first thing that popped out when she said she didn't feel comfortable. Hey, like the live as you come in. She said she didn't feel comfortable having that bright orange sticking out on her van. I keep saying van. Baby, she's in the truck, in the SUV. She didn't feel comfortable having that orange sticking out of her Subaru. And I think it's for safety reasons. Cause she didn't want nobody like pointing her out. Like she said, she want to mix, she want to mix and fit it, fit in a crowd. I think it's easy for her to maintain. Maybe so, maybe so. Cause if she would've got braids, it'd got messy. She would've had to take them down. I thought maybe some French braids to the back while she out, you know, but yeah, you're right. She finna go on an escapade. Like she's finna be going all kind of places. She going she ain't got time to be maintaining no hair. I mean, I couldn't do it because baby, I can't, I know how to wash my hair and throw it in the ponytail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um by the way, I have the same one o'clock counter. You do? Yes, I love it. I really love it. <laughs> Um, who got their hair cut? No, Maddie. Into bar. She found her a barber. She went and got her hair cut off. I guess she felt like she was looking a hot mess. People probably was talking about it, which she was looking a hot mess, y'all. She was looking all a hot mess with all that stuff on her head. So by her getting her hair hair cut, she looked just like the little the little old self she was, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to say what she really looked like, but hey, use your imagination. <laughs> that's my girl. Don't you, don't y'all go there. Don't y'all go there. Talk about, I just ain't trying to throw shot. Uh 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 uh. I I said use your imagination. What she looked like. Okay. I ain't talking about nobody. <laughs> don't play with me. What are you doing, Teresa? Teresa. Hey 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 girl. How you doing? Um. Why you always ask me uh, what I'm doing tomorrow? <laughs> you you want to come visit me or do should I come visit you? That's what you, you trying to hook up? You want to hook up? We can hook up. She look, she look her natural look. Yeah, her natural just started YouTube look, okay? This thing you already did. <laughs> no, I ain't trying to, I'm just, y'all know. Come on now, y'all know. <laughs> 
Stop trying to act like I, I am the only one that know. Y'all know we. Anyways, y'all be y'all be in my comment section. The live, the live, the live, the live, the live, the live. The live. I was like, Zay, let me, okay, let me go live. Because I don't know what it is about these lives, but they love these lives. Hey, if you really like these lives, I need uh, y'all to get the likes to 100, please. Because we got over 100 people in here. We should already be at 100 likes. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I watched your video. I don't know what she finna get ready to do. She didn't say. Normally she, you know, say something is coming up, but she she ain't say. She went to the barbershop, got the hair cut off. I, I know I seen some gray hair. I know I seen some gray hair, but who am I to judge? Because, baby, I get gray hair too, okay? I get gray hair too, and I'll be quick to cover it up with some dye. Don't play with it, all right? But anyways, I'm older than nomadic, so I got to excuse she don't. <laughs> I got to excuse she don't. No, I'm just playing. I was getting gray. Come on, I'm just playing. I be I was getting gray hair in my 40s too. Okay, I was I was already you know seeing little strands here and there. Um, I follow her too. Yes, I love me some nomadic introvert. I told y'all. I remember when I first started seeing her and I noticed her channel. I was like, this this girl right here, she's gonna blow up. And yes, she she had 200 some k already, baby, in two years, almost two years. Almost two years, okay? In almost two years. She's doing good. Bravo, sis. Bravo. We rooting for you, girl. We root. If you happen to see this video, I hope you leave a comment. Just say, hey, I saw the video. <laughs> we love you, girl. We rooting for you, okay? No matter. No matter. You hear me? Make a comment. <laughs> anyway, we rooting for you, girl. We're we going to talk number good things about you. We love you, okay? I got to check Nomadic out. Yes, she's a um, van lifer. She sold her home and started van life. Ain't that crazy? She was working a full-time job and started van life. And I guess she want to document her journey on YouTube. And baby, she took off. She took off. You, you feel me? Should I have me a drink tonight? I don't know. I'm, I got to cut. I told you I had to cut back salt, sugar, bread, and alcohol. Girl, I'm on a diet. Like, I'm trying to. Trying to get that Coca-Cola bottle shape. <laughs> um, Bertha, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You need to make me a mod on my new page. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll go to the P.O. box. Thank you. Living life. Thank you. I just now see. Let me put my comments in front of me. Oh, you're not at home yet? Okay. Where you at work? Cause girl, you be chilling watching me at work. Justin, anybody, everybody, I watch her. I hit that like. Oh, hit the like. Hit the like. Yep. Well, I didn't know she'd be in YouTube for that long. I started watching. Yeah, she started YouTube not last year, the the year before. She started in 22. Hey, Justine, I caught your live tonight. Hey, Sonya, welcome. We talking about Nomadic new updates. You watch Nomadic, don't you, Sonya? Girl, she looking very spiffy over there, okay? But watching her, uh, I, I don't know. I, in a way, I'm so used to seeing her in that van, I feel like her not being in that van seems like a little downgrade to me. And then she in there trying to cook. She trying to make the best of the situation. And I was like, I be thinking like, girl, is you comfortable? Do your back hurt? Damn, I'm looking at you make my damn back hurt. Because I know my back be hurting. So looking at her make my back hurt. Like, are you comfortable? Like, I'm so used to her just moving around freely, standing up, cooking. And girl, she just be met. She just be like rambling her little little stuff. Got a little storage bags, trying to pack stuff and get organized. Hey, beautiful. I'm work like always. You looking all fly. Hope all is well. Hey, Kathleen, welcome. Get that money, girl. Get that money, money. Good evening, y'all. I finally catch light. Hey, Raina. Oh, you do watch her. Okay. Girl, yes. 
Yes, my back child, baby. Let's not talk about, about nobody back, because girl, mine be hurting, right? Right now, girl, what's wrong with that back? I don't know what it is. I really think it's like a sciatic, 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 sciatic nerve, sciatic nerve. Baby, I'm going to get the words right. Just give me time. Just let me pronounce it like, you know how little kids have to, you know, I, I'm the same way. I got to take it slow. I'm going to get the words right, okay? I know y'all are like, girl, you need not say it. Mm -mm. Anyways, that sciatic nerve. This said, take your time. <laughs> that sciatic nerve kick in, baby. You be like, you feel that little sharp pain. You get, you get frantic. Baby, I be terrified for the for next for a few seconds. I be like, oh shit. Cause am I gonna stand back up? Am I gonna get back up? Am I about to fall down? What's about to happen? Then I had to like fight through it. I'm like, woo. Oh Lord Jesus, thank you. Woo, that's so frightening. That shit is frightening. And I'm scared. Looking at her, bending all over, crawling. I'm like, she got a good back. I could tell her back is good. Okay. My back, I don't know if I can do that. I, I prefer the little, the, the, the van method. You know what I'm saying? I want to stand up, move around, like cook, do my thing. I might want to dance. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't do all that. that. That's how you get a hump. You got to stand up straight. It's poor posture. Poor pop. Nobody. You comfortable, girl? Are you comfortable? I just want to know, is it comfortable? Baby, if it's comfortable for you, I ain't tripping. But girl, looking at you, making my back hurt, okay? <laughs> hey, Ch hey, Tashina. Yes, ma'am, that back pain ain't no joke. Recuperate, we speak. Oh, see? Oh, was a sciatic nerve or, or a bulging disc? I got like a little, I got something of a bulging, but... I think I'm dealing with a sciatic nerve. I got to go back to the doctor about it. I really do. And um, I don't know where it come from. I'm kind of like scoliosis, so it's like curve in my back. So I'm thinking maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. It, a lot of people tell me so many things that has to do with it. I don't know what to believe. <laughs> that sciatic ain't no joke, especially when that nerve hit baby. <laughs> that pain, you get <laughs> man, that, man, your eyes get big, you, you, your sweat start piling, baby. Man, I met one time I was on the floor. I don't know if I was picking up something because I get on the floor. Like I'ma bend down. I'ma, you know, I, I'm gonna do all the above. Okay, I'ma get on the floor, bend down. I'ma pick up something. I'ma uh, do cartwheels. I'ma do flips. But baby, when that when that when something don't move right, and I know I did something wrong, only y'all only y'all back painters, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. You get that you got that nervousness, that fright, that frightening feeling. That Lord, don't let it go no further. Let me get back up. And when you get back up, you thank God. But have you had the pain where it's so consistent, so consistent for days and days i had it like that too it would not go away no heating pad no ice pad no pain peel i took cbd gummy i put cbd salve on that that's like been gay man i did everything and for days i don't know what makes it go that long i really don't Yeah, I get down on the floor. Y'all seen me on the videos, right? Wiping them baseboards. Yeah, I get on the floor, floor. Okay? I wipe baseboards. I clean up. I uh, chase behind a, a, a first grader. <laughs> I've been chasing behind him since he was a baby. Okay? Since he was, since he was able to crawl. I don't ever want to get on the floor and can't get back up. I don't ever want to do that. And then I got a, I got a white cabinet. Like I just had did my my bathroom right. So I'm like these little white cabinets. I didn't. They're high maintenance. I'm just warning y'all. I always wanted look. Thank you God. Thank you. I'm so thankful. You answered my prayers. I wanted white cabinets. You gave me white cabinets. Thank you. But baby, high maintenance. High ma I didn't know the upkeep of white cabinets was so brutal to the body. Yeah, it's brutal. Because you got to get down there. You got to wipe that. Girl, 
I had did my whole, and guys, I had did my whole bathroom. I had to wipe down the cabinets and do the baseboards. I don't know what it is about that bathroom, but I swear it get dusty quick. I don't know if it's been my hair or what it is, but it get dusty quick in the bathroom. Clean your bathrooms. Clean behind them toilets. Mm-hmm. Um, you didn't try THC? <laughs> Girl, when I was taking gummies, <laughs> I was taking them too. Gummies, CBD, give me everything. Give me all kind of pain. Give me, give me, give me, give me. When you in pain, you want everything to stop it, right? <laughs> but I don't do that no more, okay? I don't do that no more. I do miss it. I ain't gonna lie. I miss that feeling, but I don't do it no more. <laughs> I do miss, you know, eh, but baby, I can turn up without all that. You see what I'm saying? I ain't no, no, I ain't no, no THC. I ain't no, no drink. This the natural me. So I can turn up without all any of that, okay? That really just intensify of how I am already. I'm already turned up. Like, I'm already, like, the party. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, huh. I'm the party. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> when, when we used to have little get-togethers at my mama's house, and yeah, I was like, shoot, I knew I was the main event has arrived. I'm here, y'all. Y'all waiting on me. All right. <laughs> They go, they go, they go, Tina with a lie mouth ass. <laughs> Girl, she know you can hear her a mile away. That's how my family. <laughs> you can hear her. Girl, I heard you down the street. <laughs> Girl, shut up. I wouldn't even say nothing down the street. <laughs> okay, let me see what y'all talking about. I was stuck in bed for three days. Oh, no. See, I have to get up, but I feel more secure when I got a, something around my waist. So I have to get up, move around, but I have to like put on, try that, put, try a back brace or a waist trainer or something. You feel a little bit more secure where you can move a little bit more. A lot of times that's why I have them waist trainers on. It helps support my back. For some reason, it just feel better like that. Tashana, yes, yeah, speedy recovery, girl. I don't know what, what you had surgery on. She said it was gnawing on my pelvis bone. No, mine's lower, like lower back. I thought my back was bad. Obviously, her back was, she was feeling in a lot of pain and she had to have surgery. Yes, white cabinets are beautiful, but definitely high maintenance. Very high maintenance, y'all. You don't want to, when you, when you wash it, like when you got food on your hand, you know how sometimes you get a little sauce in your hand and you open up the cabinet, baby, you're going to see that. Like, it's going to pick up dirt quick. You got, man, I was wiping little stuff. Every time I see, look, look I see a little spot now. Right here. Right here by the, in front of the um, sink. I got to get that up. See? High maintenance, baby. Tiger cream. I never had that. I heard that's strong. That's some strong stuff. Y'all, one time I had to some tiger cream. This, this is the guy out of the I thought it was like Vicks. Why did I put that right here by my nose? Boy, I swear my whole head felt like it was like everything clear. Like I was breathing. Like I was I was smelling stuff. I ain't I ain't know what hit me. They said, you ain't supposed to put it. I said, well, I didn't know. Yeah, I put that shit right here. Girl, I should never did that. Hey, you, you, you're, you're in a different zone. Way different than Vicks. Way like, ooh. I start, I, somebody told me I should go to a chiropractor. Please like the live, y'all. Let's get to 100 likes. Justine Tashana has missing this and just, <gasps> she had missing this. Oh my gosh, Tashana. How? How can you have a missing this? But I guess you can. You know that. We need that little jelly stuff between our bones and our spines. Hey, Natasha, welcome. <laughs> they said, no, Justin, you put the tiger. Girl, I put the tiger underneath my nose. I, it was like a burning, tiggling. Your, your, your nose so damn clear, it's almost damn putting water in your eyes. You, you're like, what the hell is this? This is way stronger than this. And they're like, you're not supposed to put it. I was like, what? I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> 
Mm. Hey Tracy, welcome. I'm trying to I'm trying to debate. Should I have me a look? I don't know if I should have a drink. I mean I don't need a drink, but sometimes I like to have a drink with you guys. What y'all think? Should I have me a little cock? Should I make a little cocktail? I don't gotta overdo it. I could just have one glass of wine or one little cocktail. I don't know. Should I have a wine or a cocktail? I need to stop laying in bed all day and get... Yes, you got to get up. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. I can't lay in bed all day, even if I ain't got nothing to do. I love my bed. Trust me. I have to sit up in a chair, sit up on the couch. That's why I got back pillow on my couch. Y'all see that? My back pillow. I, man, that back pillow is wonders. I got it from Walmart. Y'all know the little hump pillow? Let me show y'all. Y'all see that hump Okay. I, I bought it because I was having back problems. So you can ha I s have it sitting on my couch. Sometimes I feel like sitting up in the bed. I put it in my bed, but it's too big for a chair. I got something else for my chair, baby. I'm going to make sure I'm going to have all kind of support for my back. Okay. So this right here, um, if I would, hey, nomadic, you should get this too. This help you sit up in your Subaru. Nomadic. Get you one of these so you don't have back problems. Cause girl, the way you, the way you uh, crawl from the front to back, your back is good. Your back is good. You run five miles a day. You all, uh, I ain't got the five miles, honey. I can't. I ain't even got to a block. <laughs> Shit. You over there doing five miles, baby. Your back is good. Okay. Yeah, my son told me that. My son said, you have to stretch. I'm stiff as a, I'm, I'm stiff as a boy. I got to stretch. Woo, I got to get this body right. I got to get this body unstiff. Baby, I don't want to be stiff. I don't want to be stiff. I don't want to be stiff. Y'all can't lay in my bed all day. You know why? Because my ass get to hurt. Like, I can't sit, sit sit for a long time. I can't lay in the bed a long time. Like, everything hurt. You do anything for a long time, everything get to hurt, okay? I got to move around. You use it one? That's the mindset. I'm using one now. <laughs> I'm going to give me your back. Girl, get your back pillow. It's going to save you. You're going to love to sit up because it, it like, I don't know. It helps. You know how your, you know, you're supposed to be, you, you know, your back's supposed to curve in. You know, this lower part is supposed to curve in, even though a lot of, a lot of ours don't. <laughs> but your back part is supposed to curve in. Like you're supposed to, you're supposed to walk with your arms, you know, your shoulders back, chest out. And that's how it's supposed to be, right? So really, we supposed to have that 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 lower back supposed to be curved in. So having a pillow back there, it fits perfectly. Sometimes we hold a lot of weight in the front. Like I don't know if holding all that belly fat I had count. <laughs> I don't know if all that belly fat count, but that, I don't even know how many pounds that was, but I'm sure it was a lot. <laughs> Woo. I use lidocaine patches. Oh, Tashana, I had some of them. They work good. Them lidocaine patches work good. I don't know if you have to have a prescription for them, but I had got them for my nephew. I think he had a prescription for them from the doctor order them because they come in like... um. Um, they come in like this white paper and you peel, you peel the paper back and you put, and you just put it where you having pain at. So baby, them things work and you leave it on there. I leave it on there for however hours they say shit all damn night. If you can, <laughs> man, it's like that pain goes and you be like, Oh yeah, I'm feeling good. Oh yeah. I can do the Tootsie roll. I can move around. Like right now I can move around cause I ain't having no back pain, but let me not. Let me, oh, don't manifest that for me. I'm pack back pain free. <laughs> I'm manifesting back pain free. But right now, I'm not having no back pain. 
But soon I'll go to bed tonight. I'll wake up in the morning. I'm like, oh, oh shit. I done twisted. I done twisted the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Hey, Regina. Regina, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm on Amazon right now. Tashina, you get them off Amazon? I have some CBD set. Uh, CBD ointment that works really good too. I massage that in so good. I be rubbing, massaging my back. Ooh, I be doctoring on myself. You got to doctor on yourself. When you still, you got to bring your knees up to your chest. Like, you got to stretch. Sometimes I be in the bed, I just grab my legs and pull them up to my, I'm like, I got to doctor on myself. You got to throw your arms back. You know what I'm saying? We got to touch our toes and stuff. We got to do all kind of, we got to stretch. We got to work on ourselves. We can't let ourselves go. Because I, once you let yourself go, the, the muscles and everything get to tighten up. I'm already stiff, baby. I don't want to get no stiffer. If I get stiffer, I won't be able to do nothing. I'm going to be stiff as hell. Like, walking like a pig wing. Can't move. Woo, I can't. Woo, I can't. Get, ooh, get that. Pick that up. Pick that up. Mm-mm. I can't be telling nobody to pick up nothing for me. All you, all your daughters prescribed them. Yeah, because my nephew gave me some. I think that he got them prescribed. Don't forget to like the lives. Hey, Lisa. I don't know if I said hey to you. A lawyer? Who needs a lawyer? Yeah, my neck, my back. When my when I get stiff, my neck be hurting right right across my my shoulders and stuff. That's why I'm mm, sitting up at the desk all day. You gotta edit and all this. Oof. Mm -mm. You gotta. I be playing my game. Just think all the tense that I be putting in my body. I be playing my game. Editing, you know, all this crazy stuff. You cooking. This is a lot of work for your your shoulder. You gotta, we gotta work on ourselves. Work it. Work it. Hey, re, re, hey, re, <laughs> Renevelle, 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 Renevelle. Hey. Welcome to 50. Right. Baby, I don't want to get no older. I got to stay 50. <laughs> uh, I got to stay 50. I don't want to get no older. Hey, if you're new to this uh, live and you just happen to stop by, please consider subscribing. Okay? We are lit over here. Okay? Period. I'm out of shape. I walked one mile today. One mile, baby. I was just telling him, I don't even know, I haven't even walked the block. I'm finna start going to the gym. My son, my son is consistent in the gym, okay? I told him, I said, can you, can you be my personal trainer? You want, can you help get your mama right? He said he could. So, we finna start the gym, okay? Stretch. Yeah, I gotta stretch. You know they got a stretch lab here? I haven't. I have never seen a stretch lab or known anything about a stretch lab till I seen Peyton video. She was like, yeah, I'm going to a stretch lab. I said, what the hell is a stretch lab? That You go in there and they stretch you. They literally pull your arm. They throw your arm. I'm like, damn. So you just lay there while they just take a limb. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so what's wrong with it? <laughs> That's because we don't know how to stretch. That's the problem. We don't know how to, but I'm sure we looked it up on YouTube. YouTube show everything, okay? YouTube will show you everything. I'm sure on YouTube we can look up stretching. Hey, Miss Louisa, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tashana said, I'm 47, here it begins. Ooh, Tashana. Girl, how you doing? Are you doing good? Are you are you okay? Like, how are you feeling? Do you feel like sore? Do you 
Do you feel like you're still having back pain? Or you feel like you're still tender and sore? Like, did it help? Do you think it helped? You probably got a long way to go. You probably have to go to um, rehab. Do you got to go to rehab? Look, I'm so not. I got so many. Ooh, I know you can't answer it all. I know you can't answer it all. Because I throw so many questions out there. <clears throat> Mech is doing his thing. Yes, he is, Lisa. I'm so proud of my baby. That's my baby. And I'm so proud of how I tell him all the time, you know, your consistency is motivation to a lot of people. And you just keep doing what you're doing. And he said he takes pride in what he's doing. He's, he said he loved the way he's looking when he looks at himself in the mirror. And um, he's taking pride in it. Like, he, he really wants... He said now... Every day, he's like, he wants to go to the gym. Like, he feel like he got to go. Like, I never had got to that point. All these years ever going to the gym, I never got to the feeling of, ooh, I want to go. I got to go. Ooh, I'm going to the gym. Ooh, let me go. Let me go. I never got that feeling. Like, and maybe because I gave up too quick. You know, start off, you go for a couple of days this week, couple of days next week. Now you ain't when you ain't gonna go again for another month. You know what I'm saying? Like it's never been no co consistency with me. I'm always in pain. Here, um, her herni herninated this from a car accident in the hospital. Sprouts from old age. I got, you know, little scoliosis. I was diagnosed with scoliosis when I was uh, in middle school. So they told me, it's like, yeah, you got a slice curve in your back. I really, I don't know if it got worse or what. And I don't know if that got something to do with it. I don't know. But I never, it never interrupted my life. It never caused any problems. Till recently, I started having these sciatic nerve or lower back problems. It started like a few years ago. Damn, when did it start? It started a few years ago. In my, it was started in my 40s. Damn, when did it start? I'm trying to think, did it start before I even came? I don't know if it started before I came out here. I think it started while I was out here. It started when I was out here, cause I remember. I, I think it ha it started when I was out here, and maybe it came from lifting them damn tanks. Y'all know I used to be a forklift driver, so and I, I did forklift driver. So on a forklift, we have to lift our propane tanks. So every time I would grab my propane tank, I kind of like put it on my leg to help support, so I can. Like, pick it up, throw it on the back of my forklift. No, I didn't have to throw it on like that. They have where you could bring it. But still, the damn thing was heavy. You still had to, like, put your um your tank on your forklift, lock it up, and then I lift it up and, and lock it up. And then I, yeah, you still had to lift your tank. You still had to lift it. So, I don't know, lifting the propane tanks all them years, I think maybe that probably would cause my back problem. <clears throat> Welcome. Sciatic is the nut. Sciatic is the worst. Did y'all know this is the new new thing I heard? Please like the live, y'all. This is the new thing I heard, right? <clears throat> this is the new thing I heard. I heard that people that had fibroids issues or whatever, I heard. This somebody told me though. That it can cause sciatic nerve damage. Could it? Y'all ever heard of that? Yes, terrifying. It's crazy. Dang, Mastermind says she has scoliosis too. You heard of that, Kathleen? Hey, Slim, welcome. I feel like a K wash 
Er, what is that? I felt like K. Washer. Push it was crazy. Hey Cherokee. Hey Sandy. Welcome. Please like the live, y'all. I was so healthy before the accident. Now I see five different. <gasps> Miss Gloria, I'm so sorry for that. I'm so sorry for that. I hate you have to go through that, baby. I don't want nobody to go through no back pain. I don't know. I don't want nobody going through the back pain. That's crazy. Let me grab this some water. I'm trying to think, should I make me a look? Should I make a little cocktail? I don't know. Um, sending healing prayers to you going through what it may be. Yes. Miss Gloria, I hope you feel better. Um, Tashana, I hope you feel better too, girl. Hey, humble lion. Hi. How are ya? I haven't seen you in a minute. Well, maybe you being here, baby, just don't say nothing. Is that true? At least you can say yes, so it make me feel good. <laughs> but no, I haven't seen you in a minute. Hey, Angela. Oh, he's, she, she's saying prayer here to Miss Gloria. Mm-hmm. Girl, that is crazy. Like, anyways, I just hope, like, with Nomadic being in that Subaru, I hope she don't end up developing any type of back problems or nothing like that. I hope she don't. Hubby gets some home sometime tonight. Hopefully, I get cleared Monday to get back on the road. Oh, Tash Tashana, do you have to go through therapy? Back pain isn't fun. It's disrupt your ability to full night. Yes. Uh, that's another thing. That is another thing that you just said, Miss Louisa. Is no, you uncomfortable. You can't sleep. You twist and turn all night. I have to take melatonin, CBD. I be like, this pain medicine. When it's, when it's acting up really bad, I don't have to take that every night because right now I'm fine. But when it kick in, baby. Oh, you just have to have your incision check. Oh, muscle relaxers. Muscle relaxers might help. Cause you know, I got some I got some muscle relaxers. I'm s i am I'd be scared to take the damn muscle relaxers. <laughs> I think I only got enough for like Seven days or something. Doctor don't even give you muscle relaxers like that. They only give you like a week worth. Like they only want to give you muscle relaxers. What's wrong with muscle relaxers? Why they only give you like a week worth? What what do they do? Like I I I never took them. I don't know. Or maybe I did take it once and just didn't take it again. I wish I could tell you all my story. God is amazing. <laughs> God is. Oh, June 2023, almost. Oh, sorry to hear that, Miss Gloria. God is good because you still here, baby. God is good. It took me 15 minutes to get up off the floor. See, that's why I'm, I'm scared of. I'm scared of if I hit that floor with a pain. I'm scared I might not be able to get. I don't want that. I'm just so scared of that. <clears throat> I have muscle relaxers too. I got 80. Ooh, I get 80. Damn. But be, that, but you just had surgery. They probably just give it to you because you just had. Please, y'all like the live. Thank you. Um, you're in my prayers. Yes, you're in my prayers too. Oh, 
Oh, Miss. Okay, Kathleen said reason why they limit they um what they prescribe for muscle relaxers because it's not good for the heart. Did you know one time I was going through such bad anxiety and stress? Remember that time I was having these chest pains, y'all? And I ended up going to urgent care and the doctor gave me muscle relaxer. He told me it was stress. That's crazy how a person can be so, under so much stress. This happened last year. Last year, I would say around May, I had to go to urgent care. And it was because of stress. Hmm. It's crazy. I remember you thought you was having, I thought I was having a heart attack. I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, come on now. I, I know I'm healthy. I know I'm in good spirit. My blood pressure ain't high. You know, I'm, everything is like normal. Like, I don't know what could cause this. Like, but I was going through something. I was really going through something. And so when he talked to me and I'm telling him my symptoms, he said, have you been going through a tough time? And I said, yeah, recently, yeah, I've been going through some things. And then he was like, you know what, sound like you're, you're stressed. What you're feeling is, is not your heart, but because sometimes you tense and you stress, it causes a lot of like strain in your chest. I did not even know this. He said, I'm going to prescribe some muscle relaxers. Take this at night. This should help you rest and help relieve some of the tension. I was like, done. He said, also, it helps relax the must your heart too. So he said, it will help relax your heart. So you're not, you know, stressing, help you more relax. Yeah, we can't be dealing with the stress. You're right about that. Stress will kill you. That's why I like to, you know what? That's why the Bible, it says, cast all your worries on me. You know, that's why we're supposed to just like, whatever we think, you know what? Psh, give it to God. He said, cast it on him. Give it to God. God, you got this. You're going to handle this, right? Okay, I'm going to give it to you because I can't be stressing. <laughs> that's how we got, That's seriously, that's how we got to think. It, it, the Bible says. So when when I'm now, when I'm going through something, and even though sometimes we still think about it, but I have to keep on saying, okay, you know, I, I got to have faith. This is going to come to pass. I'm not going to be worrying about it. I can't stress out about it. So I, I just, I just kind of have to remind myself constantly. And it's, it's been helping me get through, period. Hey, Justin, Jay Riders. Hey, Tristan. Uh, Tr Tracia, Tracia, hey, you got arthritis? Oh my God. What, like when arthritis flare up, I know that's inflammation. Like, oh, I don't even want to know what that pain is. That's probably like a different kind of pain than back pain. Cause that's inflammation. I hand it over God, used to hold it all in stress, but now I say fuck it, honestly, live in God's hand. Yes, Kathleen, girl, you're not the only one. You're not the only one, boo. I was the same way. So stressed, trying to worry about how I'm gonna solve this, how I'm gonna solve this, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do. Then it's like when people tell me stuff, like if my kids or somebody in my family going through something, it's like I carry that burden too. I used to be just like, I, I'm so more I'm so more worried about helping somebody else. I can't even help my damn self. I used to be stressed, freaking out big time. I don't do that no more. I I I, I said nah, I can't can't be doing that. Cause first of all, I don't want to develop have a high blood pressure. I never had it. I don't want to have it. You know what I'm saying? My levels is low, normal to low, and it's been like that all my life. The highest my blood pressure ever been was when I went and got that mommy makeover. They was talking about 140 something over. I was like, 140 something? What the hell is going on? Because, baby, I'm like 120, 116 over 60. My stuff is low. Well, that's not low. That's probably normal. But when it's like 140 something, it, let, it was letting me know my body was going through something. It was going through it. 
Please like the live, y'all. Thank you. I'm so glad you got, they got you together. <gasps> what? Miss Louise said twice I had two borderline heart attacks. It was a combo of stress and weakened valve. <gasps> Miss Louisa, oh my God. Whew. That's why we have to pray. We got to pray for our health, y'all. Every day, we should be thanking God for our health and wealth. Thanking it. Thank you for good health. We got to, even though if we might be going through something, we got to thank him for good health. Okay? Thank him. Thank him, like. Well, let me, some sources. Hey, Justin, YouTube having glitches, says 19 and chat won't let me like. I don't know what's going on with the with the number count. Well, I know it's more than what it says. So <laughs> I know it's <clears throat> it must be some glitches, cause baby, I know it's more in here than what it say. Cause it's got it's more it's more people talking than the numbers say. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's I don't know what the numbers is, y'all. I don't know why it say nine people. <laughs> Because we got way more than nine people here. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know what's going on. But please like the lie. Oh, she says she can't even like the lie. I don't know what's wrong. You know, we got so many haters. They they they, they, they cast the spells all on YouTube and all on the people chats and, the, and, the, and everything. I rebuke you. <laughs> I rebuke you. That's what my mama used to say all the time. I rebuke you in the name. Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it can't give it a like. Ain't that something? They can't even like it. They hating on me big time. Yeah, it's, it, it says four people now. <laughs> Four people, but yet more than four people is talking. This is crazy. <clears throat> hey, um, hey, son, do you see anything about um any anybody saying something going wrong with the any glitches on YouTube? They said it's not just my channel. It's a lot. It's it's other people' channels too. Oh, okay. Woo. Baby, <laughs> I got to have a... Hold on. I, now, you ain't got to tell me to have a drink, baby. I need a damn drink. This damn YouTube is going to drive me crazy. Hold on. Woo. Hold on. I'm having one because I'm on a diet. Oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus, see, we'll fix it after a while. After a while. Trouble in my way, trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. Got to cry sometimes. Oh, trouble. Trouble in my way. I got to cry. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. Hold on. Woo. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. Oh, it said now two people in the chat. <laughs> This ain't pour that drink. Okay, y'all, we have a rum chata. And y'all know I just opened this um, a couple days ago, I think, on live. I tell you, I, I really don't drink if I'm on live. Sometimes, like at nighttime, if I want to, sometimes um, I'll have a glass of wine. Sometimes. But I mostly come on live and have a drink with you guys because y'all be turning me up. Okay. I'm still here, friend. Okay. I wish I could have a drink, girl. Have one for me. <laughs> I'm only going to have one. I'm only going to have one. Because trust me, two of these, I'll be talking crazy. Y'all want to see me talking crazy, do y'all? <laughs> y'all, let me tell y'all. <clears throat> My kids always encouraged me to start another channel they always told me that 
my daughter, my sons, they told me that, um, Ma, you know what? You should start a, a, a like a T channel a, a, where you could talk about, you know, things that's going on in YouTube or things that's going on with, you know, people on Instagram or, you know, celebrities. Things like you be good at it because, you know, you got that kind of <clears throat> reaction to stuff. And I think your channel would be good. And I thought about it. I said, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. But I feel like going live with you guys, I feel like I'm doing that. <laughs> when I go live and I got to talk about this, I'm talking about that. And y'all, guess what happened today? And what's going on in the YouTube street? Boy, I feel like now I feel like I'm doing it. And maybe, <clears throat> maybe that is the reason why y'all like the lives. I was thinking like, because what is going on? That they like the lives. And I said, well, you know, I had to like, you know, reevaluate some things that's going on on the channel. So I'm, I'm pushing out just different little content, just doing little things just to, just to see what kind of traction I get. Right. So I'm saying, but everybody like this lie. Everybody like, oh, what's wrong? With, what's up with these lies? And I and I was thinking, I said, you know what? Maybe what my kids was telling me I should I should do all this time. Maybe. That's what's happening to the lives because we're always talking about either something or something that's going on or I don't know. I, I And they've been telling me to start. And there's like you should keep this channel for your vlogs and start another channel for your little gossip and tea and all that stuff. And I was thinking, I was like, Ugh, because I used to do reactions to people, you know, YouTubes, YouTubers and stuff. <laughs> And obviously, I was a small react reactor channel, but baby, the big YouTubers was noticing me. They was noticing me. <laughs> they was noticing me talking about them. <laughs> and I had this one guy I used to talk about all the time. He called me a stalker. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't really want to be a stalker. <laughs> So I just like stopped doing it, you know. But maybe that was my maybe that was my my little gift. But I always was talking about him and his relationship. So I'm like, did y'all see what happened with such such their relationship? I was just doing a little commentary. Anyways, he made a whole video talking about me. <laughs> he was talking about me and my daughter. Hmm. Hey, Justine, what about the clock out of work? Can't wait to get out of the car. My turn up drink. Okay. 21 grand with those orange juice is delicious. 21 grand? What is that? Like brandy or something? Hey, Aries B, welcome. Hey, girl. Sorry, Aries B, I miss your live, but don't worry. I'm going to go back and watch the replay because I know you probably were saying something good. But I was getting ready to go live. I had a, I was up watching a Nomadic Introvert video. Then I had to hurry up and get dressed because I was like, you know what? I'm going to go live. We're going to talk about Nomadic Introvert. We're going to talk about the changes, the updates she done done. You know her update. <laughs> I said, y'all, y'all, what's she over there looking like? Y'all already know. We love you, Nomadic. Nomadic. Girl, we love you. Don't take this the wrong way, okay? We love you over here. But when you do something, we're going to talk about it, period. <laughs> but in a good way, okay? We ain't never going to hate on you. We're never going to talk about you like that. We love what you're doing, okay? Keep it up. We're following your journey. We love your process. And, baby, I'm here for it, okay? Love you, girl. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we got to talking about back pain because I'm looking at her crawling and I'm like, that cannot be comfortable. If I had to go from back seat to front seat crawling and then bending hunched over and, and crawl, man, my back is going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Girl, I haven't seen anyone but you today. What? I watched a replay this morning. I see you was in your feelings. You know I'm over here praying for you, okay? Uh, 
I just had to make me a drink. I had to make me a drink because YouTube is glitching. That people can't like the live. It's showing three people in here. We know we got way more. So I don't even know what's the what's the real numbers, okay? But we know we got way more than three people, okay? Now I said two people. <laughs> You too. Um, baby, you got to fix that. You got to fix that, okay? <laughs> so whoever's going live right now is having the same issues, baby. I don't even know what's going on, okay? Why? Why me? Why today? Why right now? Huh? Huh? Leave it up to God. Lord, you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna let you handle it, okay? Period. <laughs> Hi, keep it 100. <sighs> That's all I'm going to ever do is keep it real. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. Um, I don't talk about, a lot of people on here, I talk about, I already like them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get on here. I'm going to talk about Peyton. That's my girl. Anything on the YouTube streets that I see what's happening and popping and what's going on, baby, we're going to talk about it. That's why my kids been told me, girl, you should make you another channel. Because, mama, you be all up into everybody's business. That's how I be in their business. <laughs> like, I ain't got no life. Damn it, I got a life. It's just that I notice what stuff going on. Okay? I notice what stuff going on on these YouTube streets and everything. Okay? We see all these, like, older celebrities and love and hip hop and married to basketball and all that. Why they getting these younger men? Baby, they turning cougars. But when I was a cougar, the, you, the, everybody talked down on you like you was doing something wrong. But here go these other cougars. They having babies by these multi-millionaire basketball players. But baby, y'all talked about me like a dog when I was dating somebody younger. <laughs> now it's like fashion. Now it's like fashion. Everybody wants somebody older. All these women want somebody younger. Damn it. I don't even know what the hell I want anymore. <laughs> Because if a basketball player come there, he's 35 years old, baby, making how many millions, baby, I'll take him to. <laughs> oh, 35 making millions, baby, I'll take him to. Sign me up. Where you sign him up? Where you sign up at? <laughs> These cougars going crazy. They have they they sit up there, they got they they got their 18 year plan child support, baby. They got it in motion. Okay? So we got, let's talk about it. We got Joey Chap. What's her name? Joey Chavez. Chaz. So she got a baby by Lil Bow Wow. She got a baby by Future. And now she sit up here and got pregnant by a younger basketball player. He's in his 20s, baby. She's 35. He's 25. Okay? She secured that bag. She got pregnant. Okay? The cougar. But when I was doing it, it was a problem. <laughs> okay? Okay, so let's talk about Miss... Um, What's the other one? The other one got pregnant. She's 39. She got pregnant by the 22-year-old. Uh, uh. Help me out, son. The lo 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 the basketball wide. Er is it er Erica? No. D Drea. Drea. Drea, baby. Drea. Oh, and Kisha Cole. I was going to get the... Get your call that. Dre, baby, Dre, you 39 years old, and the, the boy 22, baby. Okay? She said like, she secured the bag. I don't know how many millions he making, but baby, must be good. It must be good. These younger dudes is looking at older women, baby. I know. You know how I know? Because they be in my DMs. They be, they be writing under my video. <laughs> they be communicating. They be want to communicate. They try to get with me, girl. They don't give a fuck about no 50, baby. I look good. Do you understand me? <laughs> But I can't mess with you. You ain't got no money. <laughs> I can't do it. You ain't got no money, baby. Now, unless you a rapper, unless you a rapper and you what? I thought it's something. Uh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But I ain't messing with nobody, bro. I can't. I ain't wasting my time. You can't treat me out to dinner. You can't fly me in, fly me out. You can't buy me nothing sweet and cute and expensive like no. Uh-uh. I need them rich, young and rich, okay? Because I'm already want older and rich, but baby, you want to talk to me, you got to be young and rich, okay? Now we got Drea, Joey, now we got Kishko. Kishko, what you doing, girl? 
Now, Keisha, now, I know you ain't about to get pregnant. I know you ain't about to get pregnant, Keisha, by the rapper. By the rapper. <laughs> oh. But what 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 we got what, what what we all got in common with these, these women look good. Do you understand me? They fine as wine. And they can get them young. The young, the young dudes wanna holler at them. They look so damn good. It's like Bernice Virgos. Bernice is a grandma. Do you understand me? But baby, she look her I'm trying to be like Bernice. I, that's my goal. I'm trying to get like Bernice, baby. Bernice is a grandma, baby. Bernice look good. Do you understand me? Her abs are ripped. Her skin dark and beautiful and shiny. She be over there glowing. <laughs> Shit. They come my way. You, Drake. Drake. Hey, Drake. <laughs> Drake come my way. I'm going to deny. Hell no. What do I look like? Boo boo the fool. You must be crying. I don't care how old I am. Baby, Drake come in the DMs. Baby, I'm going. Period. Hmm. Now. I ain't got power, but yes. We can do bad by ourselves, but we can do bad. Exactly. Exactly. You know, all these little young guys on hot. These young guys be on me like white on rice. Baby, what am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? You got some money? That's what I want to say, bro. <laughs> oh, but Drake, baby, you got my deal, baby. I'm going to fly me out the next day. I'm ready, okay? I got, I got my clothes ready. As I'm, I stay ready, period, okay? Shit, let the little young basketball players make it four, five, six, ten million a year. Sign me up, baby. Where you at? I'm coming. Where, where we going? Shit, I got a passport. Fly me anywhere you want to go. Where you want to go? Fly me there. I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, these girls is not boo-boo the fool, okay? They know they secured the bag quick. They secured the bag quick. Do you understand me? It ain't even been a year they've been dating. They hurry up and got pregnant. <laughs> okay. Drake is my baby, okay? Girl, you made my back hurt laugh. <laughs> oh. But when I was talking to somebody young, they like, oh, she talks about younger. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy, it was bad. It was bad. But we became very popular back where I'm at. We became very popular. <laughs> we became very popular very fast. And, um, yeah. I wasn't looking for popularity. I didn't. We didn't even know it was going to happen. It just happened. You know, when you get the posting pictures and you're dressing alike and you're looking cute and the next, next thing you know, your shit doing numbers. You're just you're doing, you're going viral and everything. So, hey, PP, welcome. Hey, Miss Jack. Hey, Sexy 30. Y'all slipping on in here. <clears throat> oh, did the, did the numbers correct themselves? Please like the live. I think the numbers correct themselves now. I don't know what happened, but we had like 200 people. Please like the live. I don't know if it's all the way corrected or it's correcting. That's how I found your channel when you was with the young guy. See? <laughs> you YouTube hop to hop. See what I said? And I gave it a guy. I gave it a guy. What happened? He took care of it. I said, like, God, take care of YouTube. Take care of the YouTube thing. I ain't got I'm not going to worry myself. Uh-uh. Y'all already made me pour a drink. YouTube, stop playing with me. I'm on a diet. Y'all made me pour a drink because y'all want to sit up here and show two people in here. Knowing damn well it's over two people in here. Uh-uh. So I don't know. I don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't make another channel doing that. Maybe I should just go continue to go live where we could gossip and talk about all everything that's going on on YouTube, okay? Because, baby, I don't mind doing that either. I'll talk about everybody, okay? Everybody. Not everybody in a bad way. You ain't got to talk about everybody in a ba bad way. It could be everybody in a good way. You know what I'm saying? But if something popping, we're going to talk about it, period. 
<laughs> I love a little gossip. I love a little tea. Day. Y'all do too. Y'all do, y'all know y'all do too. Don't even try that. <laughs> y'all here for all the drama and the tea and the gossip. Come on now. We all like. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all here. <laughs> Y'all want to know everything when it goes up, come when it's popping and locking up over here. We got to know where the car, where the car, where her ring, where her ring. <laughs> she ain't wore the ring when he seen her in a car. Where the car? They all ready. Y'all ready for the gossip, boy. Y'all ready for the thing, baby. I ain't mad at you, okay? I ain't mad. Y'all lost my sister-in-law Thursday, my aunt Sunday. What, D? Your sister-in-law and your aunt. But God is still in charge, but don't put no more on us than we can bear. Baby. Oh, D, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. I'm praying for you and your family. We need 60,000 pride to the channel. Okay. Where they at? Where they at? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What, 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 what's popping? What? what? <laughs> Light the live, y'all. I don't know what's going on in these YouTube streets. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, a lot of people, I, you know, I don't say anything about a lot of people on here, but I can talk about a lot of people on here because I used to be like react to a lot of people's little videos, their little YouTube. I talked about Queen. I used to talk about Corey and um, Carmen. I used to talk about uh, Damien, Bianca. I mean, nothing bad. I just like the hottest YouTube couples. You know, I just make up all kind of videos, but I was on here doing it just Boy, the, 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 the. some people, I call a fan base because, be, baby, these, some big, these are big YouTubers, okay? These are big YouTubers, and I call they people fans, okay? They're on celebrity status, okay? We already know Queen on celebrity status. Danny Bianca, over 10 million subscribers, baby, that's celebrity status to me. <laughs> some celebrities don't even got 10 million followers. You understand me? So... Talking about them, that's big. That's talking about them is big. They on celebrity status, okay? I mean, my daughter, me and my daughter used to do them little smash and pass. We used to do little smash and pass, right? And we used to go live. And I remember one time we was live. They was like, "Y'all, did y'all see the video flight? Because we talked about flight. Y'all know flight reacts." He, they was like, Flight made a video about y'all. Girl, we had big YouTubers making videos, okay? <laughs> Those were the days. And I was a little, little YouTube, like little five, like I was like 5K sub. Like I was really little. I'm still small, but I ain't as small as I used to be, you know? Yes, please like the live, y'all. And if y'all new, please subscribe consider subscribing we're trying to hit 60k so we can do a giveaway who want to do a giveaway at 60k she thinks she is celeb girl she is not a celebrity you you might be a celebrity on somebody else's page and I don't even consider you a celebrity then, but you just got a you just got a video that got a lot of views on somebody else shit. You know what I'm saying? Get that shit on your own. Get get them people to come over. You bragging about two million views on somebody else channel, girl? Try to get them two million views on your own damn channel. Hey, I got two million uh uh, uh views on the um uh, on the reel I did on Instagram. Period. Nobody shouted me out. Went viral on my own. Period. Okay. Do I think I'm a celebrity? Hell no. Nah. I'm far from a celebrity. And I'm almost, almost knocking 100K over there. And am I a celebrity? Do I sit around acting like I'm a big dog? Hell no. Nah. Because I know I'm not. 90 some thousand is not a big dog.
See, that's the problem. Sometimes things go to some people's head. Then they get too cocky and too arrogant. Then that's when you start losing shit. Calm down, relax, reevaluate yourself, and then humble yourself. Stop backing all cocky. But the real reason why her, her thing is going down, this is what I, this, I'm just being honest. This is what I just think. Don't, don't. She shoot her own self in her foot because she don't treat people right. She don't treat the people that support her right. And the reason why her views and her comments and all that stuff is not doing good because every damn body that probably watches her is mostly block. You probably get five, ten people that talks in her goddamn chat, five or ten comments on every damn video because she done blocked every goddamn body. So you think the people that you blocked is going to support you by liking your live and, 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 and coming in, they probably watch you for a few minutes and hit it. Period. I don't do all that. You speak what you want to speak. I don't care what you say, but don't you coming over here disrespecting me. You ain't going to call me no bees and stuff like that in my chat. Now, that's why I call it disrespect. Now, you got your opinion. I'm going on with your opinion. You got a freedom of speech. It's one of our amendments, rights. A freedom of speech. So you shoot your own self in the foot when you sit up there trying to talk bad and, and hurry up. So you block. Let me tell you what she do. She block people when they don't agree with her. Who does that? Okay, I watched this one. I watched this one lady called Shira Seven. I told y'all all about her. She got over five hundred k subscribers, and let me tell you, she be her live. She have two k people on her live. She don't have no mods, and whenever she don't even block people, they be calling her witch. They be like, you're a witch, you cast spells. And, and, and they be in there saying, you're ugly, you this, you a gold digger. She be in there laughing and ribbing them. And she don't even block them. <laughs> and that's why her shit is still doing numbers. That's why her stuff, I, I said, I'm learning from her. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not finna, I don't know if I buy them, I'm gonna handle it like her. But that girl, she, she don't block, she don't got no mods, no mods. She let the people come in there talk crazy. She said, "You a witch? I'm a witch. Your mama a witch." <laughs> That's how she be talking. Oh y'all, we got another Dusty in the chat that's sleeping on his mama uh, uh, couch. You know she doesn't carry on. All right, y'all. So what else? Let me ask some more questions. The Dusty, uh, the Dusty, all and they be sending her money. They send her money so they can. Her chat moves so fast. The Dusties will send her money so they can make a comment. She don't block shit. Do you understand me? And that's why she gonna keep them views up and keep it popping. You know what I'm saying? This one, she shoots herself in the foot. She thinks she all that. And boo, I, I, I'm the shit. I'm, I got two million uh, uh, views on somebody else's channel. I'm the shit. I'm the celebrity. Y'all can't come here. Y'all gotta agree with me. Uh -uh, I'm running shit. Wow. Calm down. Calm down. If somebody think like that, if that meant I would hate to see it at 100K. I would hate to see what 100K look like, baby. You might. <clears throat> she might not have nobody over there. <laughs> she might not have nobody. Seriously. You got to know how to treat people. Okay? You, th 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 we're live. We put our business out here. Of course, people going to have something to say. Of course, they're going to come in and say little rude things or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We live. Somebody could be scrolling on your YouTube and see you, and all of a sudden, yo, you shot. You know, they talk about so many people looks on here. It's a shame. I be in people other live. She ain't the only one. But I be on some other people live that be looking ugly and hugged, messed up, hair done, hair ain't done, hair sticking everywhere, and they on there talking crap, man. They get so many people talking about <laughs> I see this one lady, she was talking in a, talking, um, she was talking in a car, but she had like some hair down here on her chin. There's like, is this a man or woman? This a man or what, boy? <laughs> people go, you give people something to talk about, they're gonna talk about you. Period. Now, if you on here looking like hot mess and you know damn well you look a hot mess, baby, they're gonna talk about you. And you're gonna block every damn body that that's speaking the damn truth. You gonna spot me. <laughs> I care about that. Speak the damn truth. Hell, they want to know what's going on. They just scroll past your page. They don't know who the hell you is. If you don't want to, all she have to do, if she don't want to buy talk about her neck, just say, 
Hey, disclaimer, please don't talk about my neck and just let them talk. These people just came across the page. They don't know your ass. They see this big ass knot on your neck. They don't know what. Some people are not educated. Hell, I, I didn't even know a name. What's the name for it? I, I didn't know. I just learned that last year. I didn't know. Like, damn. But you shoot your own self for a girl. I ain't finna tell you how to do your own shit. Do your own shit. You the master of every goddamn thing. So go ahead. Do you. I ain't finna get nobody. I ain't helping nobody. Nope. Mm -mm. No more ideals. No more nothing. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. <clears throat> Cutting paper. I heard that Eris B to us. Eris B said he over there cut. <sighs> the things people do. Why? Why would you think people? You know what? She ain't got nothing else better to do. She probably feel like she need every little view she can. You know what I'm saying? She need it all. So she probably just going to keep the camera rolling even though they know she born and ain't got nothing to talk about. She's sitting there cutting paper and, and looking at stuff. And She need all the views. Okay? Another YouTuber was claiming about it. Yeah, we know it was some. It was a glitch. YouTube was having a glitch because baby, we knew something was wrong. <clears throat> she be glad somebody looking at you because you're really scary. Sorry guys, her looks even scary. <laughs> oh, but let her tell it, girl. She over there fine. She don't need Botox. She don't, she don't need nothing. She perfect, baby. Let her let her tell it. Her eyes is good. Her, her, her skin is young. She fresh. You don't need no. What wrinkle? Y'all see a wrinkle? Do y'all see a wrinkle? Huh? Huh? Do y'all see a wrinkle? Girl, let her tell it. She over there puffy. Don't do her. Ain't nothing wrong with her. Ain't nothing wrong with her. Huh? Y'all see a wrinkle? You see a wrinkle? Huh? 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 Who need Botox? Who need Botox? Baby, I've used Botox. Mm-hmm. Sure do. Just got me some. That's why you don't see my, you don't, that's why you don't see my head folding up. You be knowing when I need it. Cause when that head get the folding up, baby, I ain't finna, I'm not finna have no premature wrinkles up in here. Uh-uh. I'm use it. She got heated with you for bring, being cute. Bring cute. She got heated. Something happened. Did I miss something? Y'all got something to tell me? <clears throat> yes, I heard what happened in Milwaukee with the young lady. And she went on a date. And he did some terrible things to her. If that's what you're talking about, I heard that. <clears throat> Oh, mad for you for being cute. Mm-hmm. Girl. It ain't she ain't gonna she ain't the first person that was mad because I'm cute. And she definitely ain't gonna be the last. Okay. People always mad for stupid ass reasons. They can't really even be your friend. They can't really be your friend because they more focused on the way you look. Oh, her hair pretty. Oh, look at her. Her ass so big. They more, they more turning up their nose and stuff. They can't even be friends with you. They don't even get to know you. They, they checking the out appearance and they ain't trying to check in to, to, to try to meet you and be cool with you. They so focused on what's on the outside. They'll never know what's on the inside. They was envious when they walked up to you to meet you. I can't stand people like that. I, I don't even want them kind of people around me. Uh-uh, get away from me. I don't look at you like that, baby. Don't look at me like that. Haters is the motivators, okay? That's why I'm on here even more. That's why I'm on here going live doing my thing. Because they motivate me. The more you talk about me, the more I want to be on here. Period. The more you talk about me, hate on the thing, I'm going to make sure I'm going to showcase everything you talk about. I don't give a fuck. That shit don't make me mad. That shit make me proud. I love my things. I love my purses. I love my closet. I love everything I have. So while you mention it, I'm going to showcase it. Mm-hmm. Because I like it. And obviously you're mad. Because anytime somebody talk about something you got, 
Baby, they're mad. I got people in real life that supposed to be friends. Man, they talk about me. Google. Supposed to be friends. Man, they talk about you. Right. Soon you turn your back, baby. They stabbing you all up in your back. And you don't even know. They gossiping. Oh, she's so stupid. Yeah, she, uh -huh. her husband, she never bought her that car. Oh, she's so stupid. She went back to him. Uh-huh, she want the money. She want the money. She want the money. <laughs> what do I want now? Because, nigga, I, I, I filed for divorce. What do I want now? Huh? What do I want now? I filed a divorce. I paid my $435, period. So what do I want now? Does everybody know? I don't care what nobody do for me. You ain't going to mistreat me. You ain't going to mistreat me. I don't care what you did. You ain't going to. I'm not going to take your stuff because you did that. I'm not going to be friends with you because I ain't got no friends. I ain't going to. I ain't. Man, who, do I look like I'm desperate for something? I'm not desperate for nothing. Who don't like to be called a grandma? No, I, my name ain't grandma. It's abuela, which is grandma in Spanish. So, yeah, I don't like to be called grandma, but I do like to be called abuela. <laughs> if that's what you're saying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she told somebody. <laughs> I'll be knowing y'all. <clears throat> Hey, Kimberly. Why my TV on, on and saw her on a rope with a helmet? <laughs> oh, my goodness. She hang gliding. I like a whaler. Thank you. Because grandma sound old, don't it? I mean, even though abuela is Spanish for grandma, but don't say grandma sound old. <laughs> my kids used to call my mama granny. So my little sister, her 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 kid, her grandkids call her granny. And I was like, oh, I mean, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that because she had, she heard so, I mean, I mean, her kids call her mama granny. So I'm thinking that's the reason why she, you know, tell them to call her that. But I like a way though. Because I wanted to bring in, like, my Spanish side, you know? That's what I wanted to do. I knew before I was a grandmother, before I was a grandmother, I already said what my grandkids was going to call me. These little fluke flies. I already knew what they was going to call me. I already planted it. And my kids, nobody wasn't pregnant, no nothing. I said, when I have grandkids, they're going to call me abuela. I already knew. So a lot of people have granny, uh, grandma, nana, big mama. You know, everybody got all these names. I like abuela too. What Lisa say? She doesn't even deserve the title. Keep it 100. She had walked away from her family. Man, could could nobody that ain't been in a child life give me no advice about parenting? Like I, let me tell you that I have four kids, right? They're all grown. I can't imagine not being in their life. I can't. Like I just, oh, I I can't. Like as a mother, some people ain't born. Some people shouldn't be mothers. Okay. I see so many like true crime stuff on parents doing so much harm and hurt to their their little ones. I could never. I could never. Some people abandon their children. Some people throw them away. Some people cause harm. I'm not one of those. Some people just don't deserve children. But baby, you could a person that walked away from that child can should not even talk about mothering, parenting. They have not, they don't know nothing about it. And it kills me when they try to get up there and talk about what somebody did for their kids. So, you ain't did shit for yours. If somebody want to spend a million dollars on a per birthday party, they want to sit up there and buy them $1,000 shoes. If they want to sit up there and buy them all the toys in the store, what difference does it make? You ain't did nothing for yours. 
So who cares? Why are you worried about it? It ain't your money. Let them be the mother that they, they want to be. Shit, wasn't you the mother you wanted to be? Didn't you abandon yours? Do you remember your child's name? Can you contact them? Do you know the phone number? Do you ever say, hey, how you doing? How my grandson? Do you ever do that? Mm-mm. I could never. Traditions, yes. I'm your age. My grandma, my kids call me grandma. I told you, my, my sister younger than me. Her kids call her, her grandkids call, well, she, you know, she younger than me, but she, her grandkids call her granny. Mine say abuela. You know, everybody got they, they, uh, nicknames. Like my, my granddaughter, she called her other grandmother Nana. Like, everybody got their own little names. See? Lisa said she Gigi. I heard that before too, Gigi. Angel, I think she probably not teased about her. She should have seen counseling. I'm not going to take advice from somebody that, that don't know what they're talking about. They, 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 do, they, they say things to try to throw shots. To try to, as if that's talking about somebody. That's not talking about somebody. That's just like, that's just really somebody spending money on their kids. So, that's they, uh, they should be buying Goodwill. No, they shouldn't. They buy what the hell they want to buy for their kids. I've been thinking hard on who remind me of crazy wigs and glasses. Do you remember the movie E.T.? When the kids dressed up and... You know about when E.T. came out the closet and they had a little... Oh Lord. <laughs> E.T. was a good movie back in the days. That was one of like my favorite. I hate when E.T. went home. I really did. Like... That was a good movie when I was younger. I keep touching my hair because it's making my back of my head. I swear I want to pin it up. I swear I do. That wrap on her car is awesome. What wrap? Who got a wrap on their car? Miss Gloria, I've been thinking hard. Oh, Miss Gloria, that's, that's what I said, read. Hey, what's up, Hella Cray? <laughs> Lawaz, I ain't taking advice from nobody crazy evil. Period. Period. Man, I don't know what, I, I, I really don't know what people are over there thinking if they listen to that. And then if they voice their opinion, they know they're going to get... Let me tell you something. Them over there, what, what I call them kind of people that support something like that, ass kissers. They kiss an ass because they, if they don't, they don't want to be blocked. See, they don't want to be blocked, so they kiss ass so they can stay on the good side. They they, 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 they as crazy as hell sitting up there uh, supporting and trying to turn up evilness. Yeah, girl, they, uh-huh, let them hate, uh-huh, girl, uh-huh, yeah, uh, are you serious? You're supporting somebody that's preying on somebody for their death? I have never in history of my life heard of anything like this. This is, this, I tell y'all all the time, it sounds like Jim Jones days. What kind of person sit up there and pray that someone would, God, go ahead, do what you gotta do, go ahead, her, you know, do what you got to do. Go ahead, do it. If that's what you got to do. So, death is necessary because someone on the internet is trying to call out your BS. So, somebody is, is letting people aware of your scamming, your scheming, taking advantage of elderly people, taking advantage of people, period, that feel sorry for you. They're letting people to be aware. And because they do that, they deserve death. 
I, I, I could never understand this, baby. I, I could never. And uh, never understand that. Never. But you better be careful with what you what you, what you wishing for others. Because, baby, that can come back on you. That can come back on you. I would have, have had somebody sit up there plotting, playing on me. Plotting, playing. That's all hit in his mind was plotting, playing. How can I get back? Revenge. And baby, he fell for his own damn trap. He fell in his own damn trap. Do you understand me? Be careful what you're doing. Be careful. I had somebody. People sit up there plotting, playing against you. It's crazy. Thinking doxing, putting your address out there. They just think of some evil things to do. Because they so mad for what? You mad because somebody blocked you and they want to fuck with you no more? That's what you mad for? After you done sit up and talked about them? So you sit up and talk about me. But then once I block you, then you start even talking about me even more. I don't care. Go ahead. Talk about me. I just not finna fuck with you no more. Period. But then you want to act like to your people, you, you a victim. Oh, they over there talking about me. They're talking about me so bad. Ain't nobody talk. I, I, I speak on what my experience was with you. I, I don't give a fuck what you do. I just experienced what I went through. And I talk about you talking about me because you started this. I don't give two cents about you, girl. When you left my house and, and started talking about me, I was done. My people, the people I had come over there, over there to your channel to help support you came back and told me you was talking about me. It's on the live. I still got the live up. I was like, huh? What she say? What? 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 But I'm in the wrong. But they say, oh, we plotting, we grouping, we coming together, we're doing organized crime. What crime? Because it was a crime done against me. Fraud. Blackmail. Endangering my life. Hell, I don't even know what else they can come up with. It was something done to me. I never committed a crime to you. All I ever do is talk about what I went through and, and how I think you are as a person. You are evil. You are mean. You're mean to the people over there that watch you. You're very mean to them. You are evil. Anytime you wish death on somebody because they expose who you are, they expose you and you wish death on them. Man, don't nobody deserve death. My, my worst enemy, her, they don't deserve death. I don't wish, I don't wish, I don't wish death on nobody did me wrong. I don't wish it on my ex, even though he wanna do something to me, but I don't wish it on him. He wanna do something to me. He wants something to happen to me, but I don't wish it on him. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm not made like that. Thank God I ain't made like that. Come on, Justin. <laughs> it's be <laughs> funny, boy. <laughs> yeah. I just, just a lot of things y'all come and tell me. Like y'all just come and tell me she's on the tightrope. She's on the tightrope like an acrobat. Like, I, I, baby, I don't be knowing this. I don't watch her. She's boring. Y'all say she cutting up paper. Who wants to see somebody cutting up paper? Who? Not me. Uh-uh. It's way more people on YouTube that entertains me way, way, way more. On my boring day, I don't even want to watch that. I'd rather turn on Netflix. I'd rather watch My Housewives of Potomac. Okay? Married to fucking medicine. They're entertaining. And they're drama and tea and fighting and arguing, baby. I'd rather watch that. Period. <laughs> I'm not the look at somebody cutting paper. Y'all, is y'all really watching that? Because I'm gonna come on here and fold clothes. 
I'm going to come on here and wipe down my cat. Y'all going to watch me. Y'all going to watch me. Because if they over there watching that baby, I need to be having a camera on me 24-7. I need to do a Kai Sinet. <laughs> y'all see, y'all know the biggest streamer, Kai. I remember he had cameras set up in his house, and he was live for so many days straight. Man, he made money. He made, I know for a fact he made money. He had cameras set up all through his house, even while he was asleep. Them, the camera never turned off. Now, we, I, you want y'all want to do that? Y'all would love for me to do that. What Justine doing? She talking on the phone. What you talking about? <laughs> Who she texting? Who she calling? I ain't got no life, baby. I ain't got no life. But I ain't finna cut up no paper. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't doing no hang gliding and tightrope, whatever y'all said. <laughs> she was too weird and honestly couldn't get, get into her. She just moved weird. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just the negativity of it all. It's just the constant negative. And then she could talk about something or like how she did, like y'all said, she was on Gloria for hours. She could go on for hours and days about something. And you'd be like, damn, come on, hang that shit up. Who get like, after a while, you your head, you get a headache for listening to the shit. Who wants to keep on hearing about uh, the thing with Miss Gloria and the man, the thing with Miss Catherine? Like, come on, come how many more? You're repeating yourself at this point. You're four, five lives in, repeating your damn self. You said the shit yesterday, the day before, the day before that. Like, damn! Give your people a break! Y'all said she was going in on Miss Gloria for hours. How? And that's not entertaining. It's the negativity for me, baby. I can't watch nobody negative. I can't. Uh-uh. Yeah, she repeats herself over and over. Baby, y'all good. Keep on. Y'all keep on watching. And y'all keep coming back and telling them. <laughs> Y'all keep on coming back and tell us so I can say something, okay? <laughs> I ain't going to do it. I'm going to let y'all do the work. Y'all come back and y'all tell me. I'll say something. Y'all, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm commenting. I'm talking about everybody. Hey, Kelly. How you doing? Welcome. I'm talking about everybody, okay? <laughs> Ooh. You look beautiful. Thank you, Amy. I fixed myself up because, you know, I'm, I went to Sephora and um, I vlogged it. It's just the vlog ain't up yet. I went to Sephora, bought me some new products and went trying it. And so I'm just like getting the hang of my little new products I'm trying. And, mm -hmm. and then these lashes was gifted from one of my supporters, Melissa, Miss, Miss, Liss, Miss Lisa's in the chat. She gifted me those. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, some days you feel like just, you know, fix this yourself up. Some days you just, like, just want to be chill. So, I was just in that mood today. <laughs> Thank you, Eris B. You don't have to. Thank you for the super sticker, girl. I love you. Thank you. Eris B, you don't have to. You already showed a lot of love, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, body. I got body. <laughs> That's why I'm going to start showing. Man, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to start showing my body. Since once somebody want to talk about my body, baby, I'm going to start showing up every thumbnail. Every thumbnail. I'm going I'm to be sh <laughs> Yep. Mm-hmm. Since you got something to say, <laughs> that, it might blow me up. It might blow me up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm. Every, every time you want, what you say about what you what you say? Oh, I'm make sure I'm. Sh I'm gonna show it every thumb. I'm gonna show it all. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna start putting the camera on the floor and make sure y'all get every angle. So you want to talk about it? Uh huh. I'm gonna be about it. Mm hmm. Period. How tall? Six feet. Girl, I don't know how tall they are. Everybody taller than me. 
I'm five feet. Everybody talking to me. I don't know. I don't know height like that. I would say if I had to guess, maybe, maybe five seven, five eight. I don't know. If I had to guess, I don't know her height. Quita. Put your cash app up. Hella crack, can you put my cash app up? Okay. I don't know how I'm a, how I'm a pin it. If I pin it on my damn phone, I'm gonna hit something. Put the cash app up. Um, also, somebody sent me a cash app for coffee. Thank you so much for coffee. And it's in a cash app for Kai some um, cake pops. That was so sweet. You guys are so wonderful. I love you guys. Hold on. Let me go to the live so they can see it. Now, the minute, now, even though y'all request to see a, uh, Y'all, y'all ask for the cash app. You know what they're gonna say? Yeah, just think she over there begging. Uh huh. She's a beggar. Yeah, she be begging. Mm hmm. Oh, I think I'm on the thing. I'm on the thing. I got a pick. Oh, shit. Sorry. Commercial. <laughs> okay. Commercial. Oh, so um, I was watching your, um, Eris, I was watching you say you was playing some music. You didn't care if you get. So what it is, is like, you can have your monetization off. That means you're not asking to get paid for it. But anything over 10 seconds, YouTube will pick it up. Anything over 10 seconds. So if you're saying like a little, if you're showing a little something in there and it's only like eight seconds long, you, you won't get flagged for that. But if it goes 10 seconds, baby, they will, they pick it up. I guess it takes 10 seconds for YouTube to know it's music, but baby, 10 seconds. And you don't have to remove a video because you got music in it. Cause it's, I seen girls do like their playlists right around showing their playlist. You just, you could just have your monetization off. That's not a strike. It's just gonna say uh, it's copyrighted music, and that's it. You'll get an email saying, "Oh, you had copyrighted music." It's not a strike. I thought it was sixty seconds. No, ten seconds. So just to let y'all know. Now, if you see any send a cash app, I won't know. Because I'm I'm going live on my phone and I gotta put my cash app on the other phone. That's what I gotta do. I'm gonna put my cash app on the other phone. I gotta sign in. And then that way when I'm live and then when somebody send it, we'll hear like ching. <laughs> I won't say what nobody sent me. I'll just say thank you for the cash app. Yeah, it's 10 seconds. I was laughing because I was finally. Yes, put your cash app up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. I don't normally do it, but I know I should. I should because I know a lot of big streamers, big YouTubers, they put their cash app up. She was seven. She's one of them. She was she was seven, got over 500K subscribers. Baby, her lives be turned up, and people send her money right and left. Super stick, super stick, super, super, super. They be sending her cash app. She's like, thank you for the cash app. Thank you for the And people be in there. It be some trolls in there big time. She don't be blocking nothing. She love them trolls, boy. I be loving it, too. It be funny as hell. She be ribbing them. <laughs> I was like, go ahead, girl. Rib them. It be funny. That's my girl. I love her. She put, she, if y'all don't know, she was seven is a YouTuber. She put ladies on about leveling up. 
So you don't have to work hard, how to have feminine energy, how to level up. She's really put girls on. Loka gets it too. What, a lot of like trolls? Yeah, sometimes you can't block them. Sometimes you want the, you want the, I think you want, you want the interaction, basically. You want something. But when you say, oh, keep trying, ah, uh, who mentioned, uh, uh, block, block. Oh, you don't agree? Well, get on out of here. What, what? You don't agree? Agree, agree. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> then, when you go live, you wonder, ain't nobody saying nothing. Where everybody at? Huh? Is somebody here? Where they at? Shit, people scared. They over there shivering. Well, oh, if I say something, I might get blocked. Oh, she wants us to say something. We'll go, hey, hi, how was your day? Um, whoa. Oh, my day was good. What you doing? Oh, shit. Oh, what do I say? Uh, I'm nervous. Uh, I might say the wrong shit. Uh, nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Girl, you got those people over there shivering. Do you understand me? They're shaking in their boots. <laughs> I don't want to be locked. I don't want to be locked. What do I have a, uh, what y'all doing? What? Where you going today? You going somewhere? Uh, uh, what do I say? She asked me I'm going somewhere. I don't want to block me. What do I say? Uh, no. Oh my God, I could never. Uh -uh. I don't want to be under them kind of, that's right there, that's stressful. That's stressful. I'm not going to be in somebody's chat under that kind of stress, scrutiny. I'm not going to sit up there wondering if I'm going to say the right thing, the wrong thing. Oh, she might block me. I can't voice my opinion. I, I, listen, I'm gone. Baby, this ain't, this ain't the one for me. I see a lot of people like, huh? What you say? You see me. I miss uh, mistake people all the damn time. Dude, what about if I would have blocked everybody that I misunderstood? What? I misunderstand people all the damn time. Reading is different from listening to it coming out your, if somebody expressing themselves. Totally fucking different. You can misinterpret text all the time. Jim Jones. Yes, this is Jim Jones all day. All day. Okay. Let me know when she says something about the booty. Y'all let me know when she says something about the big old butt. Okay. In the in the nice car, in the in the in the, the purses, in the in the in the designer. And let me know. Okay. Y'all y'all keep me y'all keep me tuned. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> SB. I, <laughs> SB, boy. <laughs> she is funny. Thank you. This is great for Justine. Aw. I appreciate it, y'all. You know what? I just want to thank y'all so much for supporting me. I've been getting all day under my videos. You know, I'm putting out a couple of videos. I'm just trying to see, well, you know, what's a hit, what's a miss. Just trying to, you know, trying to reevaluate the channel here. And everybody got, you're live, you're live, go live, go live. Go live. <laughs> I saw these people, it's, they love these lives. I got, I got to give them what they want. I got to give them what they want. <laughs> so, you know what, if y'all want me to continue these lives, for sure, Please like the live, okay? Uh, I'm going to try to go in here every day, okay, for the rest of this week. What's tomorrow, Wednesday? Yeah, I'm going to try to continue the rest of this week going live. Look at somebody named Bo Nomadic Van Life. Let's see what they said. I don't think she likes being around women that's more attractive than she is. They have things going on for themselves. She gives me insecure vibes, period, okay? But you shouldn't be like that. How can you sit up there and turn against people that helped you, people that's trying to help you, people, even Miss Catherine, Gloria, me, and many others have sat there and tried to help 
and they get insecure. Girl, that's some that's because of that mind. Her mind doesn't operate kindly. Let's just say it like that. Okay? Her mind operates on a different type of spirit, on a different type of like 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 Aries B demon time. It's on a different time zone. It's on a different universe. She got a different type of energy going on. Instead of being close to people that's helping you, that's trying to help you, man, please, somebody trying to help me, what the hell it look like something, me going against somebody trying to help me? I wish I would. Hell, I want their damn help. Hell, I, I'm trying to survive. I'm living in a motherfucker damn predator van. Like, people might misinterpret this. It, I, you rolling down the street, you look like you're looking for work. This is what the Mexicans drive there when they're looking for work. Or, you know, <laughs> I need help. I want to get up out of this. I'm not going to backstab, go against nobody that helped me. People that sit up there and send me money to redo my camper, redo my van. They sit up there and send me money for this, 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 and I'm going to block them all because they didn't agree with me or all because I get mad because they voiced their opinion. I'm, I'm going to respect their opinion. Baby, this she gonna get all the respect in the world for me, baby. She helped me big time. She buy me gas. She buy me a damn uh, solar panel. She bought me a fucking refrigerator. I don't give a fuck what she say. Cause baby, I need a help. No, nah, not Miss Cocky, not Miss uh, Arrogant Superstar. Uh 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 uh. You can't uh 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 uh, uh baby. Uh uh. Don't cross me. I'm the superstar. I got two million on somebody else's channel. I got two million on somebody else's channel. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm famous. Ooh, child, I'm famous. <laughs> Ooh. Help her, help her, help her, help her. Just say, let's get you 300. 30K views, baby, let's get the 60K. Please, y'all, subscribe to the channel. I'm coming over here every day. I'm coming over here every day till we hit 60K, okay? I'm over here every day till we hit 60K. We're going to hit that 60K. We're going to hit that 60K. <laughs> I'm going crazy this year. I'm going crazy. Everybody went against me. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show all y'all. <laughs> We're going crazy. Every day. Every day till we hit 60K. I'm gonna uh, fold some clothes. I'm gonna mop, sweep. <laughs> Cook, clean, mop, tear up some paper. I got paper. I got paper. Bless the bless the Lord. Bless the help her, help her, help the Lord. <laughs> 24 hours, I'll be on here farting. Farting, peeing, shitting. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pee on myself. I'm going to pee on myself. <laughs> and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Shoot, we're in this together. We're going to hit this 60K. We're going to hit this 60K. <laughs> and I'm going to show you. <laughs> oh, Oh, we're good. I came with y'all. I came with y'all. <laughs> yeah, they're doing criminal activity. They're um, gang stalking. Um, they're committing criminal crimes. Gang organization. Um, yeah. Um, I need y'all to um, help me. Um, please, uh, you need them what? You, you, you need them what? Girl, mm-mm. <laughs> She's weird. 
Woo, I could never. I don't wish death on nobody, especially people that support me. Especially the people that support me. I don't care what nobody say. Nobody deserved that. That is the final, that's the end of life. That's no recovery. You know how many channels talked about me? You know how many channels sit here, talked about me, called me out my name, disrespected me, didn't even know what the hell they was talking about. Not once did I report. I didn't report not one channel. I didn't strike not one channel. I didn't give a F about these damn channels talking about me. You think I didn't go through that? Man, please. Let them talk. Let them talk. I ain't did a reaction. I don't give two cents. Look it up. Google it. It's just things world. And see how many people have made a channel about me. You think I care? Man, I didn't. Man, I wish I would. But I didn't block them. I didn't strike them. I didn't say, oh, y'all, I need a, uh, 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 I need y'all to write names and, and documentation. I'm taking them to court. I don't give a F. These people can talk all they want to, baby. They don't know me. I don't care. Let them make their channel. Let them get their views. I hope, I hope somebody watched them. They come over and watch me. How about that? You know how many channels did that? I done had men, women, older, ugly, all kind of them talk about me. You think I cared? I gave two cents. Period. My family used to send me videos of people. Oh, here goes somebody talking about you. Here goes somebody. Girl, here goes somebody talking about you. Man, I said, girl, I don't care. Oh, don't care. And only the people that's going to support them is the jealous ones hating on me that ain't got the nerve to make a channel to talk about me. They're going to run over there and agree with them and, and sit up there. Oh, yeah, Justine. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, mm, she's so crazy. Uh-huh. Dry bag and doing all this crazy. I don't care. That's how you know your real people from your fake people. You think I care? Y'all better look that stuff up. Only somebody that don't want the truth out cares. Somebody that y'all got, y'all got me screwed up. Because whatever y'all talking about, that's not me. So I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm me. I know me. I know where my heart at. Go ahead and make videos. Talk about me. Do you. I don't give a two cents. Okay? When I end this live, you gonna look it up. So watch how many people talked about me on YouTube. Not once did I strike. Not once did I made a video. Not once did I talk about them. And not once did I report them. Go ahead and get your money, sis, because that's the only way you're going to get your money. I don't care. They love to talk about me. Period. Okay? <laughs> I don't care. But when you try to act, when somebody's telling the truth about you, you get serious. But you better be careful because you're waking up the dead. You're waking up who you really is. Because now everybody coming up with these videos and stuff. You better be careful. I ain't got that. I ain't got that kind of history on YouTube. They, they sincerely hate me because I'm pretty. Because I got long hair. Or because I had some man buy me a car. They hate me for stupid ass reasons. I don't care. But I never was on here cussing people out. I never had that kind of channel. I never did that. You'll never see that on here. But I had truly people talk about me, period. So that just lets you know people going to talk about you anyway. Man, you know how many people talked about so many of these big YouTubers? You know how many people talked about them? I see channels. King Mimi. She's one of the commentary channels I like. I like, girl, that baby, that girl be six, seven hundred, eight hundred people up in her, her lives when she talk about Gina. Gina. That's all she talk about is Gina, Gina. But it be funny. I like it. Now, Gina, my girl, I, you know, I, she all right. But it be so funny when King Mimi be saying stuff. Do you, and even Gina said, well, I ain't finna strike nobody channel. I don't care. Let them talk. She says promotion. It's promotion. <laughs> That's how I feel. Promote me. Promote me. You want to talk about me? Go ahead. Because I want the people wondering, who is this Justine they're talking about? Let them come on over and see the real. Okay? Let, let, them, let, them, show, let them come over so they can see what, well, she's not really what you say she is. 
And the people that do follow me, that goes over and comment and engage in that stuff, man, they, they hate us too. It's just, you, just, you just know who the real real. You understand me? I don't care. I never care. They've been doing this for years. Go look up It's Just Things World. Look at the people that talked about me. Look and see how long it's been going on. I don't care. Okay? Look it up. Man and women. Okay? Old and ugly. <laughs> it's different kinds. Okay? It's different kinds. Not once did I care. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just being honest. Anyways, let me go ahead in this live. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only the person that don't want the truth to be exposed care. A person that ain't got nothing to hide, that, that feel like they lie. I don't care. <laughs> what you talking about? Go ahead. Talk about it. Talk about a relationship. Talk about that. Talk about this. Talk about that. Talk about the car I drive. Talk the way I look. Talk, talk, talk. I don't care. Okay? Not old and ugly. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. Because I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people that people made channels and talked about. Okay? I'm not making this up. And then when you look at their channel, see where the views was at. Talking about me. Do I care? I don't give two cents. Am I reporting? Hell no. I don't have that kind of energy. I can't go around reporting every damn channel talking about me. I don't care. Am I telling y'all I need a petition? We got to get these people. They're talking about me. They're gangsta. Hell no. I would never ask y'all to do anything like that. Okay? I'm going to be on here every day till we hit 60K. Okay? I need all the channels talking about me. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm gone. Thank you, guys. I just want to let y'all know that I love each and every one of you guys. I will see y'all tomorrow on the next live. I love y'all. Bye. I know that's right, Justin. I don't care. Let them talk. Bye. See y'all. Good night.